This is to remind everyone just how silly our society and our wokeness has become. Uh, we shared with you previously the Real Estate Authority, the REA, how they said they were going to cancel real estate agent Janet Dixon's license for five years because she would not take a compulsory Maori cultural course. Then the real estate company she worked for decided to terminate her contract. We couldn't share this with you at the time because it was important for Janet's lawyers to try and save her ability to earn a living. Thankfully, they were successful and she has been offered her role back. Her legal team has also ensured that Janet will remain licensed until the outcome of the High Court proceedings. The hearings will be in June, so she can keep working at least until the decision. Hobson Pledge supporters like you got in behind Janet. You're ensured that she wasn't forced to cave in the face of the Real Estate Authority's decision to go down the track of expensive litigation. Janet could not be more grateful to her lawyers and to you who made it possible with those donations to Hobson Pledge so a legal argument could be made. The Real Estate Authority isn't making things easy for Janet though. They've applied for what is called security for cost. This says they think that Janet won't be able to pay up if she loses. They claim that only Janet benefits from winning this case, dismissing the great public interest, including public support from the Deputy Prime Minister. They're also ignoring the many other real estate agents in the same boat. We've heard from a number of them. We cannot understand how the Real Estate Authority can think that it's serving its proper purposes or helping real estate customers and agents in using its powers and fund to suppress dissident instead of welcoming a chance to have the court decide who is right on the proper scope of its powers. The next phase for the legal team is preparing for her judicial review. Meanwhile, Hobson Pledge is looking to find out if other Kiwis are experiencing similar outrageous situations with their employers and licensing bodies. We are hearing that this goes far beyond the real estate field and the professions of all kinds are being abused. Being abused their powers to force licensee into brainwashing with ideological cultural training. We've been told that lawyers, teachers, doctors, nurses and public service workers, they are all under this kind of pressure. The Real Estate Authority is a crown entity. Time for the coalition government to shut this whole damn thing down as it has been hijacked and is now unfit for any purpose. And while the coalition government is about it, they can shut down the Medical Council in New Zealand, which has corrupted medicine in New Zealand during the last four years. They are a liability. They are certainly not an asset to this country. Then while the coalition government has got some momentum, they can shut down the New Zealand Teachers Council, who with their ideological bias have shown that they no longer can be trusted to decide which teachers are good enough to be registered and which should go. The deluded fools are so confused about geography that they no longer know the name of the country that they're supposed to be working for. There's been a strong rumour that this year there will be one and a half hours of training on the alphabet soup community. You know, that's the LBQT plus, 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 plus community thingy, thing, thing. What on earth is happening to society when this ideological rubbish is forced down our throats by people who are driven to cement this nonsense along with a raft of misguided brain farts? A person is either buying or selling a house, and it doesn't matter whether they're black, white, brindle, whether they're straight, queer, gay, drag queen, or whatever. The real estate rules are clear on standards expected by agents. Why do Maori and LBQT require special treatment? My answer to that is very, very simple. They don't. And most homosexuals agree they just want to carry on quietly and respectfully and live within society. 
It is the drag queens and the exhibitionists and those moku wearing green tiki wearing Māori are causing most of our problem. The problem is that they're mostly exhibitionists and of that part of our community who constantly push for this offensive ideological oh look at me crap aren't I clever I got my ugly dial on the TV screen